What's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy Cubs fan. Welcome back to another video. Today, SDS had another live stream further explaining all the brand new franchise mode features that they had previewed to us in MLB Mondays, and they also revealed two new legends to uh, for us. So let's get right into it. So two new things that they uh, first bought to us was now when you first start um, franchise, you can either do a manually where you control pretty much everything you want to do or you can go to auto manage where um, the computer will auto manage your team for you and you just want to jump in and play the games which I think that is a pretty nice feature for beginners that want to just play get into this game and don't know what they're doing not to mention that they also bought to us if you jump into this you can jump into regular season or you can start in spring training you don't have to completely start in spring training right away you can you can start in regular season and then they showed the brand new menu which the layout looks absolutely fantastic in in my eyes that it, it's a new layout more easier more user friendly to use you can go through the menu and um you can change straight in the menu if you want a certain thing to be autoed or you want to do it yourself it, it, it's a pretty nice uh, looking um, menu now and I, I it makes me want to just get back into franchise more because this this looks pretty slick and nice they introduced to us uh, missions where you can um, get into the game and uh, do these uh, GM missions or any anything in franchise missions that will earn you stubs and plenty of rewards for it especially if you're a beginner at this game which is it, it's a nice new thing into the franchise and I, I like I like it they got more in-depth with their critical situation new feature that they have added into it so basically you can get into these games and then you can only play the certain situations that are critical to the game so maybe like you're a pitcher and you've got to shut down shut shut them down in the uh, bottom of the night to save the game while well, you can jump in right into the franchise game and play as a closer and the rest of your team or you can also jump in and uh try and hit a walk-off home run or jump in and try and go for the hit in the cycle all sorts of um uh, critical situations you can get into and in, into this game they got more in-depth with these new quirks for these um players in franchise so basically for example devin travis he can hit better when it's nighttime games so if it's a night game he's gonna have his pci grow if it's a um, road game, he can hit better at, um, on the road, so his PCI will get even bigger. If it's a day game, he's not, his PCI is going to go down, so he can't hit during day games. Or it's some of these other players, they can hit breaking balls better. So if it's a breaking ball, then the PCI will get bigger. Or if it's a fastball, some of them can hit fastballs better. Their fastballs, the PCI, will get bigger when they're throwing fastballs. I think it's a great new addition into franchise, which I, I don't think it's, it's going to be a big aspect to the game very much. The budget got uh, revised as well, so basically you're going to be you're going to be more inclined to trade players if you have a bad budget. You're going to be losing like $50,000 a week, which is going to be trouble for you, so... If you trade somebody, then your budget will be able to go into the positive and not into the negative, which I, I think it's a nice, great addition. A new little feature that they bought in is uh, an area where you can see top prospects, so you can look in the list of, of prospects in the in here. It basically, which is like you can see is number one is Johan Mancata, and then um, another thing that they added in is uh, player morale, so you can see where they're happy at where they're sad why are they sad certain certain things that reasons that they're sad for which is a nice addition two new legends that they revealed during the live stream were eric karos and jim palmer as you can see with eric karos his hitting is not very very much great and i i think it's a great hitter added to this game and jim palmer they're saying jim palmer has the best fastball and curveball combination which you can throw 96 mile an hour fastball and a very wicked curveball so i can't wait to try these uh cards out 
But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe for more MLB 17 news. We are only... Ah, God, I got, I got to check the calendar, but it's like 20 days left until MLB 17. Can't wait, guys. Can't wait. But thank you guys again for watching. Take it easy, guys, and peace!